G'day guys and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we're gonna be talking about this, the Emu Wing side access panel installed on my Toyota Land Cruiser 200 series. Now like everything on my vehicle, it has been installed for a purpose and to complement some future plans. However, it hasn't been installed without some complaints. So let's get straight into it. The EMUX system comprises of a frame and an infill panel that replaces the rear quarter glass window of your four-wheel drive, allowing opening access to the side area of your cargo area. Now, new EMU Wing make this product for numerous amounts of four-wheel drive, particularly on the Australian market, and generally you can purchase these for either the driver's or the passenger side. Also, you can choose for a metal infill panel like I've gone for here, or you can also opt to go for an automotive glass-styled panel, which does retain some of the vehicle's factory look. Now the emu wing system works by permanently gluing in a frame to the body of the vehicle that houses some brackets that enable some hinges to be mounted, some gas struts to be mounted on either side, and also some reinforcement tabs down the bottom to engage the locking mechanisms. Now just a quick note, there are no sponsorship deals or paid endorsements for this video. I pay for the emu wing product and the associated installation at full retail price. Now as you may have already seen from the start of this video, this product has not left a clean and tidy look on my 200 series Land Cruiser and we're going to get into this a little bit later on in the video. Now when thinking about buying this product there was a lot of hesitation. Now obviously for people like myself who load up the back of their four wheel drive, the benefit for these products are obvious. Having that side access area into the rear cargo space, particularly when it's full of camping gear and there's limited space and room, provides enormous benefits. However, the hesitations I had was the research that I conducted online. Some of the questionable reviews regarding the ceiling, the fitment, the difficulty of installation, and just the general product quality gave rise to some skepticism. So in today's video, I wanna go through some of the benefits and also some of the negatives I've found with this product and whether or not I would do it again or change anything knowing what I know now. So let's get onto some positive content. Having the ability just to open this up on the side of the road and access the rear area of that cargo area from the side makes you accessing your gear super, super easy, particularly in my case. On the Land Cruiser now, I now have a rear tire mounted to the rear of the vehicle, which does take a little bit longer to open up the back of the vehicle. Plus if you're towing like I plan on doing, it's gonna also impede that rear access. Now in the center row seats of my vehicle, I also have two child seats, making it inconvenient and a little bit harder to roll those seats forward and access the cargo area from the rear doors. Having this here means that I can just reach in at any time, grab any gear that I put near this window, and it makes it super convenient and easy to access all my gear anywhere, anytime. Now another positive point that I've come across on this product and something that you would come to expect is the dust ceiling. Although it's a relatively basic and simple setup here, so far I've had no experience with any leaks or dust after a quick adjustment when getting it back from the installers and we'll go into that in a little bit detail a bit later on. I've taken this vehicle on several four wheel drive trips down dusty roads and also driven in the rain. It's also been parked outside in the rain and the vehicle's been washed and I'm yet to see any evidence of dust and or water ingress getting it through this emu wing panel. Now unfortunately, that's where the positive content ends. Now although my criticisms are not deal breakers, they are definitely things you may wanna consider if you are looking at buying one of these for your own vehicle. Now I've broken this down into two categories, first of all being the installation, and second of all, the product itself. Now starting off with installation, as already mentioned, I was not happy with how this product's been installed. The finish is untidy, the seals were in the wrong position, and the whole panel had to be adjusted immediately after getting the vehicle back from the installer just to open the rear door successfully without damaging the rubber seals. Now I'm not gonna publicly mention the installer here on this platform, however, all I would recommend is just do as much research as you possibly can when choosing a fitter if you are not fitting one of these yourself. For me personally, something like this is something I would ordinarily fit myself, however, on the 200 series Land Cruiser, you have to pay a glazier to remove that rear window and the associated antenna anyway, and I thought I would pay an experienced fitter to continue on with that installation to get the best possible result. Now unfortunately, that's not what I've got. The fitter here is used black silicon to mount that frame to the body of the vehicle. Now although it has the potential to be a great system, unfortunately the inconsistency of the bead and just a general untidy finish has really ruined that option. In addition to that, they've also used a black vinyl strip to cover up that C-pillar, and I think it's also been used to cover up some of the excess black silicon, which in my opinion does not match the fitment of this product or the style of the vehicle at all, and if anything, hinders that appearance of this product. Now, the other thing I noticed were the seals that mount onto the infill panel that protect it from dust and water ingress. 
The seal on the top edge of the emu wing wasn't even mounted in the correct position, meaning when I got home and washed the vehicle, it was the same day of picking the vehicle up, I had water ingress. Now it was a fairly easy change and easy to adjust that seal to make sure it was in the right position. However, it's something that I was disappointed with and shouldn't have to do after paying a premium price to have this product installed. Moving on, I also found the alignment of the infill panel was also incorrect as well, meaning that the clearance between the panel and the rear door was incredibly close, which was pinching the rubber door seals. Now, although there's only very limited lateral movement or horizontal movement in the product, when that frame is glued to the body of the vehicle, again, it's something I had to do the same day as picking up the vehicle, just to make sure I wasn't going to damage those rubber seals. Now, moving on to some more minor grievances, things like the interior plastics that have to be trimmed to make clearance for the locking mechanisms and general fitment have also been left untidy, consistent with the rest of the poor installation of this product. Now, although these points may be considered fairly minor, they would have been considerations I would have liked to have known prior to the install. Now, all I can hope for is that if you guys are planning on mounting this to your vehicle, that you can do as much research as possible and find a much better installer or fitter to fit this product to your vehicle if not doing it yourself. Now, moving on to some of the criticisms I have about the product itself. And again, although the product does work very, very well, you can see here the general quality and fitment of the product just doesn't match any of the other automotive components on this vehicle, particularly the quality that Toyota put into their Land Cruiser 200 series. Now, most of the components that come with the Emu Wing kit seem to be of fairly good quality. However, one thing that I think could do with some improvement is the ceiling. Although I haven't had any dust or water ingress since adjusting the seals from installation, it is a very basic system. Now I understand there is some difficulty with the ceiling when mounting these style of hinges, however it's something that I think needs to be addressed or at least improved, just to make sure there's no increased wear and tear and chances of dust and water ingress down the track. I have no doubt that checking these seals and maybe making minor adjustments along the way is something that I'm going to have to add to my routine maintenance. Now another big disappointment about these emu wing panels are the quality of the locks they use. You can see here that it's just a twist styled lock that they use to support this panel down to that frame. However, it's the key locking mechanism that really doesn't work very well. You'll feel that the key lock here is of a very cheap quality and it's something that emu wing could really replace very easily by changing their lock manufacturer. Trying to get that key into that lock, activate that lock and then remove that key is incredibly frustrating as it almost always gets jammed and takes longer than it has to. For me personally, I think it's only a matter of time before these locks fail, and that is not going to do wonders for security on this vehicle. Now that brings me on to security. If you're serious about your security, then these panels are probably not going to fill you with confidence. With a relatively thin sheet of metal and these two very basic locks, I believe a crowbar or even maybe a solid wrench would be able to pop these windows out from their mechanisms and therefore access the rear of your cargo area. Now I understand it's no different to breaking the glass in the window as well, however it's just something you may want to consider if you are looking at buying one of these products for your vehicle. Now my final criticism for this product is the appearance of that C-pillar. Now as mentioned before, the fitter that put this product on my vehicle has used a strip of vinyl here to try and cover up some of the, uh, the exposed C-pillar here. However, you would expect when you're paying about 800 Australian dollars for a product like this that maybe Emu Wing could supply either a plastic, rubber, or potentially even a 3D printed trim that might be able to cover up this exposed C-pillar and just provide that nice professional looking finish. So I think we can agree that there's nothing inherently wrong with the Emu Wing product. It works exactly how it's designed and how it's sold, and having the ability to access that rear cargo area from the side provides huge benefits in certain areas. There's also no other product or manufacturer on the Australian market at the moment that could compete with this product. However, my overall thoughts are that perhaps it is stuck a little bit in older times. The quality and fitment and lack of innovative technology such as central locking and some nice finishing touches do suit the style of a vehicle that may be produced back in the 90s or early 2000s like the 80 series and maybe even the 100 series. The general quality and fitment of a product like this doesn't quite meet the quality standards or the style of a vehicle that costs $130,000 in Australia such as the Toyota Land Cruiser 200 series. Now I hope this review hasn't come across too negative, however it just provided some insights that may be able to assist you if you are considering buying a product like this for your vehicle. My concern is that a company like Emu Wing here rely on sales given the fact that their product is a practical and one of the only products that meet this sort of requirement out on the market to date. But there is a very, very likely chance that another company is currently designing, manufacturing, or even researching and developing a product just like this that are going to compete with Emu Wing that maybe do bring some of the technology and some of the finishing touches that will improve this product and make it up to a market standard that meets the vehicles that are manufactured at today's date. If this is the case, then Emu Wing are going to be left in a very vulnerable position. 
Now I hope if Emu Wing do become aware of this review, that rather than seeing this as a product of bashing, they more take it as constructive criticism. I would be more than happy to share my thoughts and ideas with the company on how they might be able to stay a little bit more contemporary and relevant with today's market, rather than seeing some large dominating companies in Australia take away some of their sales if they release a product that meets the market standards. This brings me on to my final thoughts and also the big question which is would I do this again given that it is a permanent modification to your vehicle and some of the criticisms and downfalls I've pointed out in today's video. So my advice is this, if you're looking at a product like the Emu Wing just because you can and you think it might make it a little bit easier to access that cargo area out on the road, then I would recommend against the Emu Wing. I'd find another way to pack and store and access your rear cargo area to make it a little bit easier and more user friendly and retain that Toyota factory look with that rear glass quarter panel. This is going to retain a perfect seal, nice factory look and keep it nice, clean and tidy. However, this being said, if you have a specific purpose for an EMU wing like this, as I do, which is a video coming soon, then this is really the only product on the market that is going to meet your requirements. For me, I'm hoping that I'm going to be able to modify and at least adjust this product on an ongoing basis to make sure it works well, and I'm sure it's going to very well complement some of the future modifications I plan on doing on my Land Cruiser. So overall, I'm a little bit torn about how I feel about this product. I'm sure this EMU wing is going to very well complement some of the future modifications and plans I have for this area of my cargo space. However, saying that on the other hand, the uh, general quality, the outdated technology, and the poor fitment of the product have given a messy and untidy finish to what in my eyes was a perfect vehicle before it was installed. So as mentioned, I don't want to diminish the work that Emu Wing do or just bash their product. I just want to provide some awareness to those who are considering getting a product like this for their vehicle, just so they're fully aware of all the considerations they need to take in, into account if they are fitting a very permanent modification like this to their vehicle. All I can suggest is make sure you have that specific purpose for your vehicle and do your research very, very thoroughly in terms of finding the correct fitter, if not fit it yourself to make sure that it is done 100%. So guys, thanks for watching today's video. I hope that it's given some potential buyers some things to consider and help them make an informed and educated decision as to whether or not this product is gonna be suitable for their needs. Thanks for watching guys, and I'm sure we'll see you in the next one. Cheers.